It's pastry week! I enjoy this one and a half week a lot more than I thought I would. At first, I would just wanted to make macarons. Turns out there are many other cool French classic desserts. Ambouille, souffle, forest cake, madeleine, lemon tart, flan, bubba rum, and madeleine. <laughs> so at first my impression of French pastry was super classy, super elegant, and it was going to be a relaxing one and a half week. The atmosphere was so different from cooking, everything felt slower, more gentle, and a lot more delicate. It took a couple of days to get used to the kitchen not being steaming hot and kind of peaceful, but it didn't take long for me to realize that this is another level of challenging. The largest difference to cooking was the precision. We weighed every single ingredient in every single recipe, and when it came to sugar, we were accurate to the dot. If cooking is like art, then pastry feels like a science to me. We used every sense as possible, and I had to use a lot more concentration. I definitely didn't feel as relaxed as I do when I bake a cake at home. We covered all the basics from crust dough to croissant dough. Apparently even rolling has techniques. The trick for even rolling is to have both hands on the extremities. When it came to fine detailed technical work, it became very obvious I didn't have enough practice. I didn't realize piping evenly could be so challenging. I'm not sure if we didn't have enough electrical mixers or if it was a discipline thing, but we can whisk most things. This was another fun technique that looked easy when the chef did it, but when I tried... <laughs> Here are two beautiful piping done by our chef. And this one was my first try. We saw cool decoration techniques that they use in stores by using chocolate and syrup at specific temperature. But unlike with cooking, I found it much harder to replicate the elegance of the chef with pastry. This is a cool way to make ice cream look extra fancy. It's harder than it looks, but give it a try at home. With so much technicality and precision, I find it's a lot harder to be creative in pastry. But that didn't stop my classmates from trying. Another major difference is the wait time. So much waiting. Some of us were more impatient than others. I think they called it quality control. Personally, I think they taste better when they're on the plate. This was my first time trying Baba Room. It's like a decadent sponge cake soaked in rum and sweet syrup and cream. But let me tell you, there is such a thing as eating too much sugar. We realized that after a few days. Exam, I had to make a lemon tart. This was how I went. For the crust, I made a almond vanilla short crust. It took me a lot longer than expected because we also had our cooking exam at the same time and the kitchen was extra hot and my dough kept melting, so I had to stick it back in the freezer every 2-3 minutes. For my lemon curd, I decided to infuse some lemon zest as well as thyme. I whipped up a simple vanilla cream. I added in some of the lemon curd to make an ice cream base of sorts. My original plan was to make a ring of mousse and have the lemon curd in the center. But unlike with cooking, improvising without measuring without a plan in pastry was just so difficult. I had a lot of trouble with this and ended up resorting to plan B. I ended up doing a classic lemon tart filled fully with lemon curd and I decorated it with thyme, lemon confit, and zest candy and I use the ice cream pieces as decoration.